Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, let's take a look into the general Docker workflow. Well, this is a typical Docker workflow that we follow to Dockerize the application. As a developer, first we need to create a Docker file and we need to define all the instructions and commands in a Docker file to build the Docker image. Alright, so Docker file is nothing but a text file. It contains all the instructions or commands to build the Docker image. Once we create a Docker file, Next, we can use docker build command to build the docker image. Okay, so docker image is nothing but an executable package and we can run this docker image in a container. Alright, so docker container is nothing but a running instance of docker image. So this complete process is called dockerization. Okay, so as a developer, we need to create a docker file and we need to define all the instructions or commands to build the docker image. And we use docker build command to build the docker image from the docker file and then we can use docker run command to run this docker image in a docker container here the docker container is nothing but a running instance or a runtime instance of docker image okay so this complete process is called dockerization next once we have a docker image in our local machine then we can push this docker image in a online cloud repository called docker hub okay once we push docker image in a docker hub then we can pull that docker image on any environment and we can start deploying this docker image in a docker container for example let's say we have different environments like staging environment test environment production environment or uat environment all right once we push docker image on a docker hub then we can pull this docker image on any environment and we can you know run that docker image in a container all right so this is how the typical docker workflow looks like Let's understand this general docker workflow with an example. For example, consider we want to dockerize the Spring Boot application. Then what we need to do is we need to create a docker file first and we need to define all the instructions or commands to build the docker image. Alright, so once docker file is ready, then we can use docker build command to build the docker image from the docker file. So here docker image is nothing but an executable package. Next we can use docker run command to run this docker image in a container. So docker container is nothing but a running instance or a runtime instance of docker image. So this complete process is called a dockerization. Well, once we have a docker image on our local machine, then we can go ahead and push this docker image on a docker hub using docker push command. Okay. So once we push docker image on a docker hub and if we make this docker image as a public on docker hub, then anybody can go ahead and pull this docker image from the docker hub and they can run that docker image in a docker container okay so this is how the typical docker workflow looks like in next lecture onwards we'll see how to dockerize the spring boot application step by step first we'll create a spring boot application and we'll build some rest apis next we'll create a docker file and we'll define all the instructions and commands to build the docker image next we'll see how to create a docker image from the docker file and next we'll see how to run a docker image in a docker container and next we'll see how to push a docker image to the docker hub so these are the steps that we are going to perform in order to dockerize a spring boot application all right great i will see you in the next lecture